Hello, Amy. This will be some week three milestone one uh, video feedback for you. And I'll start with the uh, this week's discussion for one about wireframes. And then I'll end with the journal entry, uh, which is about characterizing your client and designing an interface uh, that is for custom made for them. Uh, good job. Hello, Amy. Uh, you know, doing your wireframes in pencil <clears throat> is just fine. And, uh, you know, for a starter, the advantage of doing them in pencil, though, is that you can generate a lot. So you might consider just doing, you know, a few more just before you start moving things around on your web page. Um, of the two, I'm, I'm thinking that I probably like this one the most because it conserves space. It's, you know, it's off. This is a hot area. This, I, I imagine that this needs to be rotated about 90 degrees, right? So um, in terms of screen real estate, the upper left corner is where it's at. So whatever you want to, want to appear first, uh, that's where you're going to put it. And I think a logo is a good choice for that. Um, if you put it at the top here, center, then what happens is uh, it eats up a lot of vertical space. And images get truncated and so forth. Um, I like that you have an image off to the right, you know, uh, some appetizing image of food would be great next to the logo. Good, good uh, association made there. Um, I, I like the uh, menu navigation bar uh, as opposed to the menu for food down here to the left. I guess it'll be arranging along the left side. Um, here it's not so clear where it was, but I see that you're planning for a footer, legal uh, also, the sitemap, the HTML sitemap, oftentimes appears in the footer as well. And uh, there is other information such as contact information. Revision date information sometimes can also go in the footer. Oh, and also, before I forget, social media can go in the footer too. Not sure where you had anticipated to put the navigation. I'm assuming in this bar uh, up at the top. Amy, um, you've, you've met the the requirements of the rubric and there's there's just two it's binary there's uh proficient which would be you know submission includes a properly coded sitemap and i see you've got one here you've got a lot of other formatting though um i see that here in your code you're already beginning to use the div tag uh, that'll become clear i think in week five uh, when you learn how to position your ingredients on your web page um i'm not sure what this is i guess what concerns me the most Amy, is that you are looking at things from your local drive, your C drive. Have you been able to upload them to GeoCities or even Web 00? Am I, am I missing something? Here's where you would have put the URL to your mounted website. And it's just a question of taking your um, the, the files, HTML, images, whatever else, and placing them uh, in, in the same way fashion on the GeoCities uh, server. So uh, reach out to me if that's been a, uh, a problem. Um, I'd like to be able to help you with that. Anyway, you have met the uh, requirements of the rubric for that exercise. So I'm going to open up your uh, HTML file, your index.html in Safari. And then off screen here, I'm going to open up um, something called page source. This will allow me to view your code. Also, give, give, give me a rough idea if you had uploaded this to a server, uh, what your file management structure was like. Here you can see what you've done uh, as it will appear on the web. Here I can see your code. I see that you've applied colors uh, to the heads, at least heads. This, the, is this the red from uh, Pasta Boring? And I see that you've tried to uh, some rudimentary text formatting. Good job of that. Uh, it, it should get easier as you uh, begin to understand it. And um, I think that this fulfills the requirements of the rubric. You've proficiently added some style. Uh, you've used a, a color to, from the client's palette to a head. And here's where, um, you know, again, if I'm missing something, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do not see that you've uploaded it to GeoCities quite yet. If that's a hurdle, um, let me assist you. Okay, Amy, I, I just refreshed myself with our email exchange, too. So I think your next big hurdle is to get files on GeoCities. And uh, use GeoCities File Manager. Don't bother with CyberDuck. Uh, in week one, I believe, or week two, there's an announcement video uh, that shows you how to use GeoCities File Manager. 
stay in touch. Um, I will, you know, get around to regrading things that you have resubmitted uh, as your understanding increases. And uh, now on to the journal reflection. Amy, your uh, journal reflection is adequate. Um, I think you distinguished your restaurant from other Italian restaurants by saying that, you know, it's in Chicago's Navy area. Um, and, you know, you might want to add on that, the sort of nautical theme. Um, I, you know, there, there are many ways to conduct online research or market research. Uh, one of them is simply looking at the surrounding competition. Um, there are Nielsen. Uh, there's also the U.S. Census, which has valuable demographic information. There are many, you know, there's also um, uh, WebMonkey for doing surveys. You know, if you had a uh, targeted a focus group or in a targeted audience, you could uh, use that. So, you know, just consider uh, many of the modern tools and also Google Analytics has many, many tools, especially for online businesses or online presences. Um, bear, bear in mind that, you know, you may have to use some of these tools in the future. Uh, I need, I, is this somebody that you know, uh, Lilo Facianella? I think it's great that you actually went to somebody that you know, if, if you did, to ask them questions. So I really, you know, I, that's great. Oops, sorry about that. Um, you know, that you have really given it some thought and have gone to uh, a living example uh, <clears throat> to sort of figure out what you might ask in terms of uh, questions. So I think, you know, other than, you know, perhaps identifying other sources of information, um, it's a great submission. You have a clear idea of who your client is and who their target audience is. Not a fashion or website that matches that visually.